Welcome back everyone. So till now uh, in our previous sessions, we have looked into a lot of interesting aspects of data science, right from the definition of data science to the point where uh, talking about some of the prerequisites of uh, data science and whether some someone even be interested in the field of data science, right? So let us now discuss something about uh, what does what does a typical data scientist do at his job? What is the right flow if I am really interested in learning data science? And uh, one good question or exciting question: whether this job also will stay for some time or will it get extinct in some time? Yeah. So talking about a typical day in a life of a data scientist, a data scientist does a lot of things. If you see here, a data scient scientist or uh, specifically a full stack data scientist should should be someone who knows business who knows technology who knows mathematics who knows knows to code who knows who is ready to jump in and code hands on who is ready to do data cleaning extraction everything that's why he's paid so much also a data scientist uh, typically sits with business to understand what is the problem statement which is coming from business that problem statement could be very very vague as vague as something like why I'm losing money in my business, right? It's not specific, but some kind of a question where I don't know where to start with. A data scientist never gets a really, really clean uh, set of data. The data is thrown around in different uh, uh, repositories. Data could be uh, highly unorganized, uh, available only in the form of Excel sheets in terms of CSVs or flat files, which are not at all related with each other. Data scientist has to write a lot of Python code. Much of it is is into extraction, cleaning, or transforming data. So if I'm coming into in, in the industry, dreaming that okay, I am a data scientist, I get hired, and I straight away start getting into machine learning and artificial intelligence, then I, my dreams are really overrated. So most of the times, I'll have to actually start and clean data. That's what even I do right now. Data scientist, once the data is clean, data, data scientist has to just jump in there and data and do a lot of exploratory data analysis. He has to create a lot of notebooks. I'm talking about Jupyter notebooks if somebody is Python oriented. And uh, uh, basically find out a lot of regularities and irregularities in data, a lot of relationships between data, a lot of uh, slicing and dicing in data. That's the real treasure hunt which goes on in the life of data scientists. After that, the data scientist basically uh, data scientist creates a lot of appealing visuals uh, based on the analysis he has done, tries to simplify simplify them and to present them in, in the form of a picture, in the form of charts or visualizations, which gives directions to the business people in terms in very very layman terms. The data scientist then deeps down in reams of data. It, he chooses a lot of models which are available in his toolkit, applies those models constantly evaluates those models, fine tunes them through parameters, and finally comes up with the best fit model for the given business problem. And finally, a data scientist builds an appealing story, which translates the heavy duty data modeling terms into plain English. And very lastly, uh, uh, keeps uh, uh, puts trust in God and uh, keeps fingers crossed uh, to have his uh, model work in the real world and waits, waits for the next iteration because when uh, these things work in real world, right? So iterations are really important when the machine, the model learns from the real world data that re that data is put uh, is put back into the model as a feedback loop, and the data model has to be iterated again and again to clean it up and make it better and better with the passage of time. So if you see uh, the the work of data scientist is not an easy job. It spans across different tasks. Many times he has to do a lot of mean tasks, a lot of Task which might not be termed as sexy, uh, but it, it is just a, a day in and day out job which will earn you your bread and butter, right? The 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 basically the uh, sexy jobs like modeling and uh, artificial intelligence that comes really 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 down the line, which is which I would say is the least uh, time taking, but actually requires a lot of thinking in terms of when to apply, how to apply, and how to interpret the output. Now, uh, now it's okay. So now say I say like I'm ready to get into data science, ready to jump in this ocean. What should be the right flow of learning? So flow is really simple. So there, since there are a lot of topics, I don't know where to start with. If I know where to start with, it's really easy that, okay, you pick that area of interest, you try out some videos or tutorials to learn basics, 
then see if you're if that topic or whatever you are learning is it making sense to you i mean if it makes sense keep on continue learning and once you're comfortable just look into other aspects of data science and then start over again and build your repository if it doesn't make sense to you it's good to connect with people find a mentor uh, ask questions to people in a community then try to get, uh, get a grasp of the topic if you are still not able to get a grasp of that topic that may not be uh, something which interests you for example if i don't understand machine learning models if i don't understand the mathematics behind that no point continuing there i can explore something on the creative side like data visualization and tableau right so if it if i doesn't get a grasp of it i can explore some other aspect i can get into data manipulation data wrangling i can get into big data i can get into sql development so there are other options which, which i can try out and not just getting stuck with the uh, with the machine learning aspect or the artificial uh, artificial intelligence aspect of it so this simple flow chart can can help us to get started and to have this flow which can be very very useful for us to uh, uh, basically build a space in this area and uh, an important part where uh, i would i would i would uh, like to have this discussion where pe uh, people are saying that uh, in 2012 harvard published uh, uh, a paper saying data scientist being the sexiest job of 21st century uh, yes it has generated a lot of hype has generated a lot, lot of buzzword many companies are uh, investing huge amounts in this a uh, lot of models algorithms are coming in the market people are really excited big businesses are investing money but uh, that that has been history that any job which has been there uh, has not been uh, like has not survived uh, uh, like light of day so there's only one constant basically and that is change so technologies will always come they'll always go they always follow a hype cycle newer technologies will always replace the old technologies a very simple example is manufacturing jobs. They are like completely automated. Robots have taken over already. The support and maintenance jobs in IT industry, uh, they are getting automated. And if you, you see, there are a lot of job cuts happening because of that. And data scientists, uh, if you see the tools which data scientists has, these tools are also getting automated really, really fast. Google, Amazon, Facebook, uh, Microsoft, they are developing models which are creating models out of themselves, which are much which are of much superior quality than what is built by humans. So if modeling is done by humans, then what will humans do? What will a data scientist do? And there is, an, uh, there is a speculation that with the rate at which the automation is happening, the data scientist as a job itself may go off by 2025. So uh, it's what, like eight years? Within eight years, again, this, data, this, this job goes for a toss. What next? So the whole idea is to, in, uh, in this ever-changing ever world with technology changing so fast, is to keep learning and stay relevant, especially in data science where new, new knowledge is generated at a breakneck pace. It's better to be updated than outdated, I would say. So uh, we, we talked about uh, data scientists, uh, typical work, the flow of learning, and uh, and just a little bit interesting talk about data scientists, uh, data scientist role, uh, it, its prevalence, how long it's going to stay. But yeah, it's definitely going to stay and it's definitely worth investing your time and effort uh, because it is uh, it is a job uh, to stay for some time and it is uh, a very intellectually uh, intellectually stimulating uh, job so uh, talking in my next video i'll uh, pick up uh, two last topics about how should i start into this and uh, some of the tips on maintaining some discipline and hygiene uh, during the process of learning so thank you for watching this video uh, let's catch up in my next one thanks a lot